In this class, we are going to study about the combined transformation. So, in the previous classes, we have studied about the pure translation and pure rotation. Now, we are going to study about combined transformation. That means we will have a combination of both translation as well as rotation. So, uh, successive translations or rotations are possible here. Sometimes, initially, uh, um, translation would happen, and after that, a rotation may happen. Uh, again after translation rotation or rotation rotation etc so you can have a combination of those things so how we can represent it okay so the uh, what we do is we'll first represent the trans suppose translation is happening means we'll uh, write the matrix for translation and then uh, if it is followed by rotation then we'll um, have the matrix for rotation then we'll multiply all these okay so the final representation is obtained by either pre multiplying or post multiplying so the we look into what is this pre multiplying or post multiplying so this pre multiplying means so in the previous class we have studied about the in a pure rotation so suppose if you are asked to find the position with respect to um, the reference frame that is xyz frame if the rotation everything is happening with respect to this xyz frame then you have to pre multiply it pre multiplication means before uh, this noa we are multiplying the rotation matrix right okay and uh, post multiplying we use like if uh, the uh, rotation is happening uh, with respect to the frame that is i know a frame we will post multiply the uh, matrix so that is pre multiplying and post multiplying okay so whenever basically whenever we are um, speaking something uh, or the rotation everything is happening with respect to the x y z axis then we pre multiply it and if it is happening with reference to the frame that is i know a frame we post multiply it okay so here you can see that assume that a frame noa is subject to the following transformations okay you see the it uh, following transformations are occurring first rotation of alpha degree with respect to x axis some rotation is happening with respect to the x axis followed by translation relative to x y z okay and followed by rotation of beta degree with respect to y axis so when you look into this you can see that all these rotation or translation they are happening along the reference frame here the x axis relative to x y z axis and y axis so what you have to do we have to pre multiply it pre multiply it means you know how to write the equation right p x y z can be represented using um can be obtained by multiplying the initial position of noa with uh, the uh, transformation specified here that is rotation or translation so what we do is we will pre multiply that means first we have pnoa that is the initial position of p multiplied by this one rotation of alpha degree along the x axis you have to write the rotation matrix with respect to x axis multiplied by second one is translation right so translation is happening using d1 d2 d3 so you have to have the translation right have the translation matrix again multiplied by rotation of beta degree with respect to y axis so multiplied by the rotation matrix beta degree with respect to y axis so this is how you uh, pre multiply okay whenever we are speaking with respect to the reference frame or the rotation translation everything is ha uh, happening with respect to the reference frame you have to pre multiply it so reverse is the case when we are referring to the um, noa frame or the if rotations are or translations are happening with respect to the sub frame so here you can see that assume the following transformation with respect to the current frame current frame means your noa frame so rotation of theta degree with respect to a axis a axis means it belongs to the frame or the noa frame translation is happening along the noa with respect to noa frame again it is followed by rotation of theta degree about o axis again it refers to the noa frame right so what we do is we post multiply it we post multiply it means first we will write the rotation that is happening along the uh, a axis that is theta degree that is r theta degree comma a rotation along the a axis by theta degree multiplied by this translation matrix l1 l2 l3 multiplied by the rotation happening along the o axis by theta degree and multiplied by the original position of noa okay so this is known as the post multiplication clear 